just realized my freaking mic was off. Thanks for joining the stream, everybody. Make sure to leave some love in the chat. Be entered to win a State of Mind physical CD, sticker, and poster. Thank you guys so much for joining. We're going to wait just a little bit for uh, people to join and start things off. Breezy Scooter, welcome. Glad to have you back. We're going to be going over some cool stuff today. the song is over we'll start some stuff i'm gonna be playing some riffs showing off how i program drums uh how to get a cool tone and then we're gonna play some shovel knight it's gonna be good uh in celebration of their new game coming out uh, cyber shadow looks so fucking good it's kind of like a I don't know, ninja gaga-esque doing pretty good the weather's kind of shit today but Complain about a little rain. Perfect streaming weather, actually. Until the power goes off. Alright, we're gonna kick things off. Awesome. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shoot over to Pod HD here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a awesome tone. I'm going to go over exactly how I do that. Uh, so as you can see here, starting from scratch, new tone. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get our noise gate going. Usually keep, I think these are usually the settings that I do. Usually around 63. Yeah, it's supposed to be getting that bad. Yeah, so first thing we want is our noise gate, of course. Then we're going to go over to amps, pick a cool amp. I'm just going to kind of go through these. I haven't actually messed around with all of these yet. There's so many. Especially, I I have the uh, HD like metal amp pack. Um, you know, one thing about the Pod HD edit that I don't like versus like Pod Farm is that you don't really get a visual of all the amps that you can just browse through. You kind of have to list, and uh, I don't know, I don't think that's as cool. I mean, you still get a little thumbnail there, but I mean, you have to click on it to see what exactly it is. Uh, so we're just going to mess around with these. Alright. Actually make sure. Y'all yeah. can hear this okay, right? <clears throat> so that's more of a clean amp. We're not really going for that. We're going for Fucking heavy tone. I like this overdrive. Oh shit, that's loud. We'll turn that down. Sounds like it could be okay. Needs a little more gain. But look, let's keep going. Yeah, there's a lot. A lot of tons of options. Mm -hmm. 
It's not very loud for some reason. This one's not bad. This is the Line 6 Epic. Maybe we can maybe we can work with that. Um I'm probably gonna keep the drive around. It's got a good bit of gain to it, so we're gonna leave it somewhere in the mid-range. Because we're gonna be adding uh some more gain to this, so I'm actually gonna move this down just a hair. You see what I'm doing. Alright. No, I'm still using my somewhat shitty speaker, so. It's kind of thinking a little less, a little less bass there. Um, this mic is actually my favorite that I've known, that I've been messing around with the 409 dynamic. So we're gonna keep that. Um. 4x12 tread is kind of my go-to as far as the cabs go. A little too, too much mids going on there. It's quite epic. Alright, now we're going to um get some preamp going <laughs> messing with the settings to I actually I haven't actually messed with this preamp before so. Actually, seems to be a little too much noise gain there for now. So, I think it's this amp really. There's like a lot of like mid range presence in this amp. Maybe we try a different mic and that'll help. That sounds pretty good. <clears throat> um, so let's keep messing with that. Actually, maybe try a different <clears throat> preamp. That might be a little bit better. Um. Yeah, I've never heard that one in Zelda before. That's okay. Common mistake. Honestly, it might be me. I'm not really hearing much of a difference with these. I suck. Alright, 
I think that's a good start. Um, now we're going to get a little more distortion going. We're going to go with our usual screamer. And we're going to see how this sounds. Turn the output down just a little bit. <laughs> I love that riff. Bring an Ola, Ola England. The beast. It's kind of one of my favorite go to riffs for anything. Testing anything. Um, okay, so let's turn. Turn this up. And you can see some of that noise is kind of creeping through, so we're going to adjust that noise gate a little bit. I agree. That's that's why I love it. You get those power chords and you got some notes in there. Um, okay, so one other trick that I always like to do is get that wall pedal in there. We're kind of going to arrange these like this. I can get the... Let's see. Okay, so... Okay, I've done this before. I've had problems with this before, like... I don't remember exactly what I did because right now it's acting like it's all the way down. Oh, there we go. All right, that'll do. Oh, never mind. That still sounds bad. Oh, what's going on? Why? Okay, I will fix this. I just don't remember how off the top of my head. I know I went here. And that was, yeah. Maybe it's off. There we go. I got it. I just had to activate it. Alright, so you can kind of hear in that adds so much, like, just leaving the pedal on and down just adds so much like clarity and um but of course we're not going to do 100% mix we're going to have it about halfway in the mix and that'll be plenty so you can kind of hear a difference there i'm going to i'll turn it off turn that back on and this is how it sounds you 
could probably actually have less. You could probably turn that mix down a bit because it's still kind of coming through a little bit too much, but. And then typically what I do with leads is I just kind of, I don't really have a separate lead tone. Uh, I generally just add either delay or reverb at the end. Uh, so for this one, we can do like ping pong. We'll try that out. <laughs> Brownie points if you know what that's from. Shite. <laughs> but, uh, and yeah, that's really all there is to it. Um, now I'll show you a tone that I actually, you know, I've tweaked considerably. Uh, to the point where I think it's you know pretty good and I'll be sharing this tone with you guys for you guys to download for free um, That'll be coming soon towards the end of the month uh, But if you're on patreon you can get it now uh, So here's how this talent this tone sounds I call it insane gang because I'm using the insane uh, amp head as you can see right here and This is how this sounds I haven't been practicing that one, so I don't know. I'm actually really looking forward to redoing that one. Uh, I've, I've, every time I go to write a new album, I try to bring something new. To it uh, whether it's a guitar tone or different drum settings or what have you um, so I would I would say about every album I have switched it up and again on this one I have a uh, it's turned off but I also have this ping-pong delay that I used I used this tone on something recently um, but But uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm probably going to be using this tone for uh, the With Man Comes Massacre remaster. The revitalized edition. Yeah, that's the general, general goal. Have its own feel. And then it also just kind of depends on the style of music, too. Um... Like for gent, I kind of like to have 
an even more you know aggressive uh, wah presence in that tone for the versus metalcore I want it to be a little more on the crunchy side so. Anyways, that's all there is to it, really. So we're going to be moving on to the next thing, uh, which is programming drums. Before I get to that, though, I kind of want to highlight some releases I've been listening to lately. Uh, some just came out. One of those being, uh, of course, uh, Periphery, was it 4 now? Periphery 4? Hailstam. Uh, I've been jamming that a little bit, and uh, I've mentioned it before, Periphery's newer stuff isn't exactly my cup of tea, and I think listening to this album, I finally realized what it was, um, and it's that in the, I feel like, and this is just my opinion, I feel like early going, they had <clears throat> like a really like fun, progressive, um, very like, I don't know how to explain it, like melodic or uh more upbeat kind of style of writing um and now i think they're a little more i guess heavier for a lack of a better word um and just that progressive side of them is is that's the side that i enjoy the most from that band um periphery 2 that album blew me away like as soon as I heard the first song from it, I was like, yeah, I'm buying this. Um, and then, yeah, every album since then has just have not had the same effect on me. But, uh, but it's still good. Like, I will not knock it. Um, it's still a really good album. My favorite song from there would have to be called It's Only Smiles. And if you listen to that compared to the rest of the songs, you'll know exactly what I'm saying. Because that's like the most kind of upbeat, progressive song on that album. And the rest of them are, uh, for the most part, pretty heavy. And like they had this like interesting way of doing chords and things that kind of influence how I write also. But um, yeah, there's not as much of that on this album, but still good. Um, another one I've been listening to, it's not out that they've put out a couple songs after the burial super good um behold the crown and exit exist uh they got those two new songs out check them out if you like after the burial super good uh definitely recommend that and then lastly we've got lee mckinney infinite mind lee mckinney is uh one of the guitarists from born of osiris and he put out his solo album uh, infinite mind and <clears throat> it's about what i what i expected and i think a lot of people knock lee for being not as uh you know technical technically savvy as like jason richardson but um i don't really think with this album that's what he was going for i think he was really going for more of like a chill kind of uh metal album because it's 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 very chill and uh enjoyable in that sense and it's definitely easy to get into like you know listen to while you're at work or something um uh, yeah so i'd recommend listening to that too um yeah and actually the drummer his name is cameron he'll be he's been teasing doing a solo album of his own and it's going to be like the complete opposite of what lee's doing it's going to be technical as fuck i'm pretty excited for that so, if you go to his Instagram, you can hear some riffs he's been posting. It's so good. Definitely do that. Okay, let's switch gears. Don't fall off whatever you do. Please. Okay, we're going to switch gears over to 
Mixed craft. We're going to check out how to do some drums. Get hyped. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> so here we got Mixcraft 8 Pro Studio. Uh, I just got this. I was using Mixcraft 5, and then I finally upgraded. And uh, the real, the really the purpose of this was just to combine because how I was doing music before is I was recording in Audacity, like programming drums and synths in FL Studio, and then bringing everything into Mixcraft to mix and master. But now with uh, Mixcraft 8 Pro Studio, I'm basically getting rid of those two other programs, doing everything in one software, which is super awesome. Um, and I've been messing around with it, and it's been really great. Uh, way faster, more efficient. So I have this virtual instrument open. And basically, I just kind of go to the setting. I'm using Steven Slate drums. And you can kind of see here kind of what that looks like. Uh, this is Steven Slate Drums 2. They have a newer version now, 5, uh, that I haven't gotten to upgrade to yet. Maybe that'll be next. Um, but yeah, we got the full kit going on. I'm only using three toms here. Um, and then we got our hi-hat, splash, ride. We got our two crash cymbals and our china. Um, and the way I have this kind of looped out now and this is definitely, this is new for me, is uh, I have each individual instrument uh, linked to its own channel. And uh, for, for, all the, for all the symbols and things, I have the, you know, the room mic and the overhead going to the same channel. I think it just makes it easier. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get to programming. So we have... You have your traditional piano roll, but then you also have this step, uh, which is what I really like, because it just kind of makes it easy. So you, you go in here and you program exactly what hits you want in this little uh, menu here. And then you can hear, you know, this is the bass drum. And you can organize it however you want to. So I have the bass drum here. I have the kind of like the side stick hit, snare, sorry, snare. And I got the you know, toms from low to high. And then you know, hi hat closed, open, and then so on. And so basically, all I need to do to uh, create a beat is just kind of click where I want those hits to be. So you know, I want I'm just gonna make a basic beat. Uh, so I'm gonna go like ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ba da. I'm gonna do something like that. So I'm just basically gonna click each individual note. Go by right about there, and this is of course four four. Okay, so we kind of got something going there now. I'm just gonna get rid of the last one, uh, and we can change the BPM here. Let's go ahead and go 180, and uh, see how that sounds. Pretty fast. I like it. Uh, let's add some symbols to that. We'll do crash. We'll have a hi hat going with the same pace as the snare. So it kind of sounds like this. Um, now, if I wanted to loop this specific beat a couple times, I could. All I would have to do is, well, not even that. All I'd have to do is go over here, drag this loop end there. And then I could extend this and it'll repeat it. So I have it going four times now. Now say if I wanted to keep the same beat going but I wanted to change some things on the second part of that, I would go here and say like, okay, I don't want the crash symbol to go again so soon. <clears throat> I want to add like a little fill at the end here, like ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. some snares and toms in there. So we're just going to delete all that. So now what we have is, 
like that. So. And then from there, you could take it even further and change the velocity of these notes. Or basically how hard the drummer is hitting the snare or tom or cymbal or whatever. Um, and so how you do that is you basically select the notes. Well, you don't even have to select them. Um, but from here, I can select these. And I can basically, over here, right down here is your velocity. But you can also adjust all these different things uh, that you see here. But we're just going to mess with velocity. Um, so basically, all you would do is you would drag this little slider down. Uh, to you know however and so once I do that you'll be able to kind of hear the difference you could also adjust everything you see just by you know going down here and you know just dragging across you can kind of hear how that changes if I drag it like way down here it's gonna be super quiet like super quiet and soft hits So that's how you could go about adjusting all of them. If I want to adjust them individually, I would just go down here, you know, adjust that. For this fill, your for this fill, um, you know, since it's super fast hits, uh, if you think about it, the drummer is not going to be, you know, hitting those full force like you would if he was just doing it. You know, individually, uh, when he's going faster, the, sit, the hits are going to be a little bit softer. So that's what I'm trying to basically simulate with this by adjusting the velocity of that, so it sounds a little more realistic and less triggered or programmed. Um, and that's pretty much how I go about that. Now another cool thing I can do here is if I wanted to give it a specific number, you know, I could select all these and I could right click, go to note velocity, and I can make them all, you know, a set digit. So I could make them all like 90 velocity. And that is a really cool feature that I like. Um, just being able to quickly, you know, adjust that and then I can come back and, you know, make some fine tweaks. So, and I can show you kind of how in a more in-depth version of that, like like doing like a snare buildup. Um, and I don't have to tap these individually. I could just drag my cursor all the way across like that. That's one too many. And then from there, you know, I could adjust these to be softer notes. And so I go back and listen to that. And then let's say, let's say every third note I want to be a little bit harder of a hit. So we'll go like 70. And, and then the hit after that will be somewhere in between. So we'll just select those. And we'll say make those 50. So when I do that you kind of have like a snare roll kind of build up so this is how it sounds. So yeah I it it is tedious to uh, program drums not gonna lie but uh, I mean once you got it you got it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> But, uh, let's see here. I'm really jealous. I wish I could play drums. I wish I had a drum set to just, because it just seems like so much fun. 
I had one at one point and I played around with it, but I didn't get to keep it. By the way, welcome, Ricados. Glad to have you. But yeah, and the way you hear these drums right now, uh, in Mixcraft 8, they're already mixed. Um, you can see here, I already have, you know, the settings from like EQs to compressors to reverbs already set up. So, so I don't have to program the drums and then go back and mix them. I'm program, I program them and they're already mixed, ready to go. Uh, and I go on to recording guitars and everything. So, like I said, ever since, you know, updating Mixcraft Pro, uh, Mixcraft 8 Pro, it's been super awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, I was actually debating on either using this or Reaper. Heard a lot of good things about Reaper, and I messed around with it for like a little bit. Um, but I think what led me to choose Mixcraft 8 is that it came with tons of VST effects and virtual instruments and things that I was going to be missing out on, uh, you know, getting rid of FL Studio. So I thought this was going to be the better choice, and so far it's been it's been really good, really enjoying it. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, Ricardos. I remember when I first started learning guitar, I almost did give up. I started on acoustic, and um, I got fed up with it, and I quit for like a year. And then I finally got back into it and like just practiced. I took lessons uh, on acoustic first, and then my stepbrother, who had a uh, Fender Strat, he uh, pretty much gave up with that, and so I took it. I started messing around with it, basically took what I knew from acoustic and applied it to electric. I was playing like, I was learning to play like Metallica and, and Godsmack and all those kind of bands. So that's kind of where I started. But uh, yeah, it just takes, you know, practice and dedication, honestly. Um, you know, if you're fed up with something, you know, if you're fed up and try, like, trying to learn something, uh, it's good to like, take a break, come back to it the next day with a fresh mind. Um, I know a lot of people say that, but it really is true. So, but thank you. Been doing it for a long time. Speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and switch gears again. We're going gonna to play through some riffs. particular song I'm going to play for you guys is called Desire. It's off State of Mind. And speaking of State of Mind, uh, I'm going to be giving away a physical CD, sticker, and poster. All you have to do is leave some love in the chat and you'll be entered to win. We'll reveal the winner later. Welcome, Soil. Glad to have you. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so Desire. Um, I'm not going to be playing all the riffs, just the main ones that I really enjoy. Um, so the very first riff, well, I should say the first, but it's really a couple riffs down. Uh, it goes like this. Shit, I'm sorry. Shit. So I got the first part. So it's uh. Man, I am so sorry, guys. 
I, I like I like I said before, I'm a studio musician, so I don't practice a whole lot. But I've been practicing this like all day today, so I'm sorry for screwing it up. First part. Thanks. <clears throat> Absolutely soil. Hope you enjoy the album. So I'm gonna play that riff uh, a little bit slower and then kind of break it down exactly what I'm doing. There's a lot of uh, the how I write riffs when I get like really technical. I like to do a lot of just slides, hammer ons, pull offs to kind of make it easier on my right hand. Not doing a whole lot of picking there. Uh, only when I need to. Um, so slowly that riff goes like this. <laughs> it's basically starting on the 12th note, 6th string. <laughs> Basically, just using those, you know, four fifths, uh, six string on those, but uh. <laughs> so basically, how I wrote this riff is I kind of started with this chord and go into this, and then just kind of figuring out a way to, you know, play those individual notes and link them together. <laughs> And then the next part. Like I said, a lot of hammer ons and pull offs kind of thing going on, so. So pulling off that note there. So, like that part, I only have to pick one, one time. And then we have the chords. Basically, you have 10, 7, and then 9. So strumming that and then sliding that entire chord down about four notes. And then from there, it goes into that kind of heavier uh, bit. That's power chords, and then that same chord. And then it links back together. Um, and then the next part that I'm going to play for you guys is actually one of my favorite riffs on that album. Um, and it's not the most technical, uh, it's just kind of the most fun to play. <laughs> So that one slowed down. Oh, 
awesome, fun one to play. Polluted. I really liked doing that one. And that one I was just kind of experimenting with some tapping kind of stuff. And also using a different setting on the bridge pickup for that part. I'm trying to remember exactly what note it was. Something like that. Uh, so yeah, just kind of messing with that different uh, bridge setting and then doing some tapping on there. And really it's super easy tapping. And I'm basically when I'm doing that, so I'm strumming and then I come over with my middle finger. <laughs> Sorry about that, I didn't mean to, oh, fuck you guys. No, um, so basically strumming those first parts and then I haven't been practicing that, so I don't know the rest. But I'll pick I'll pick that one up uh, and play through that next stream for sure. But that is that first part for sure. But that one was really fun to do too, and I thought it was like very different from the rest of them, uh, from the rest of the songs on that album. But <laughs> that's fair. Thank you. I think that. If I were to pick a favorite from State of Mind, um, the self-titled one, that was a lot of fun to write. Um, Down the Line, another good one. And then also, um, shoot, I don't know. I'm having the same issue as last time where I forget my own song titles. No. The very last one, Silenced. That one was also really fun. And um, if you saw, if you actually have listened to The Memories Past, uh, it's a little kind of demo release of some songs that started out as this was going to be State of Mind, this is how it's going to sound, and then I scrapped the whole thing. Uh, but one of the songs on there, Silenced, um, you know, it had a totally different, like the beginning was still the same, but the, but the, towards the end, uh, was totally different from what you actually hear on the full release. But if you wanted to listen to what it could have been, uh, you can check that out over at my website. Yeah, I'm excited to redo that one. in time intro I'm super hyped to redo that whole thing and now that I have like um, a mix that I'm happy with as far as this new song that I've been working on that uh, will be coming out soon now that I have the mix figured out for that yeah I'm probably gonna jump right into that right after um yeah so the the with manicals master remaster um definitely will go on apple music spotify google play all those definitely i would like to put all of my um 
video game covers up there too but you have to and I just figured this out to to put up like video game covers and things you have to uh, buy a license and it's like ten dollars per song and I have a couple I have like ten uh, around ten video game covers that I'd want to put up and I'd probably do it as like a uh, album like um, I don't know what I would call it but like volume one and put all of them in that and that, that's about a hundred bucks right there so I don't know when that's gonna happen but I would love to do that transitions from under control I've had some people want me to redo that one too but I don't know I'd really like to redo monument um, because since I did that one like not instrumentally I thought the instrumentals were fine uh, and like the guitars and, and things like that but um, I think I could definitely do better now on the vocals because you know at the time you know there was my vocals were still kind of developing um, and I think I'm definitely a lot farther along now than I was back then so I think redoing that with like an updated mix that would be awesome I'd be super hyped Yeah, the, what was the Under Control remaster was like 2012, and then I did Monument, and then from there, did you know, I worked on uh, The Lost and the Found, which that was going to be part of my Forever and Promise side project. I uh, worked with some guys from New York uh, who did vocals, and we released some music under Forever and Promise. Um, so we put out an EP and uh, we were we did also a cover of uh, Got Yays or Goat Yays, somebody that I used to know that blew up really big and it was super awesome. Uh, and then we put out one more song and then we were, we've been working on an album um, and then things just kind of fell apart from there. Uh, but the whole album was finished and I was just like, you know what, I really want to show this to people the songs are really good uh they just don't have vocals but i think still people will really like it so i just put it out there as the lost and the found and uh yeah <clears throat> i'm actually really happy with that album like mix and all so i don't think there's anything i'd change to that one for sure but awesome I will definitely do a stream with me recording vocals. As soon as I, as soon as there's a scenario where I need to do vocals, I'm, I'm going to stream it for sure. Cause that'd be cool to show off. I don't know about guitars though, because, because sometimes I'll like be stuck on a riff, like trying to get, trying to nail it perfectly, and just takes me like several attempts. I sometimes I get frustrated doing that, but. uh I don't know, maybe. But definitely vocals. Vocals, I think, are way easier for me. We're going to switch gears now. Let's get into some Shovel Knight. That's what I'm talking about. Love me some Shovel Knight. I'm so excited for Cyber Shadow. The game looks awesome.
This game is so good. Well, thanks for joining, Ricardos. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. <clears throat> We're going to get right into it. I beat this game on, um, what was it? I think 3DS. I haven't beat it on PC. Uh, Body swap? I don't know what that is. We're not going to. <clears throat> I'm perfectly happy with my body, thank you. Long ago, the land sword untamed and roamed by legend. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than the Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Now the tower is unsealed and a devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Hyped. And the music in this game is so fucking good. Oh, here we go. It's shoveling time. The down attack is the best thing in this game. Oh, shit. You can juggle these guys. Oh, this game is so fucking good. This down attack is literally the best thing in this game. I want to see how long I can juggle that guy. Little bug. Little bugman. I'm actually going to try and play through this as fast as I can. Oh! Shit! Fail already. Big Chungus. I should have. This guy. Literally, this is this is how good the down attack is. Just, just fuck you. Do that shit. So good. I finally got my controller, by the way. Like I said I was gonna do. So we'll definitely be returning to uh, Resident Evil sometime soon. Jelly blobs would definitely remind me of Zelda too. Ah! I don't remember what they're called in Zelda. No, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that'd be so much easier. But I don't know, playing with keyboard and mouse in that game made it a lot more hard and tense. So. It was a it was a fun challenge for sure. Bob. 
Bye. What? Oh. Uh, I didn't even see the ladder. Yeah. Oh, baby blue idiot. Hello. Oh. Scary man. It's quite scary. No, what are you doing? What are you doing, Shovel Knight? The hypest things you can dance. Bing, bing, bing. This game is so cool. Another one of these assholes. Dragon was super easy. You know what? This, this game pretty this game sucks. <laughs> Not really. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing for you here anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've got no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter shall stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me! Steal thy shovel! This guy, he don't know what he's getting himself into. I have the power of the down thrust, motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> Forgot about that. Steal that shovel, bitch. Whoa. And he's like, oh, I can do that. No, you can't, motherfucker. Blah! Be accomplished, I'm alive. <laughs> but I have to get to the tower. Peaceful forest. All of a sudden, some shovel knight bitch just fucking slams into your face. No thanks. Where are we now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, he's dreaming. Dig up the fire. Oh shit, I didn't mean to go here. Bye! We're just gonna skip ahead to the next thing. Sharpen thy shovel! Oh, this is the level with the rats. The flying rats. Get that young money that's right. Ugh. Shit. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Die. 
Now, how come he can... How come he gets rained on with lava and he's just fine? That's absurd. Rats are not that powerful. Get up there! Ah! Rats! Die! The power of the down thrust. Nothing stands a chance. I was supposed to jump on one of them to get up there. Oh well. Don't you think you should look before thrusting your way off the cliff? You idiot! Ah! Die! Why won't you die? More raddies. That's not good. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna squander away everything by falling off a freaking cliff. are like your worst enemy in this game. Oh my god, go! I don't know why he does that. Rabbitat is a flying idiot. Shovel type is super effective against rat flying type. Oh, for now he does it twice. Am I doing something wrong? I didn't kill this guy. I thought you could kill him. Oh god, don't fuck this up. Ugh. Ugh. Shit. Oh, oh well. Ugh. 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 I should probably be picking up all those jewels, but it's fine.
Where am I going? <laughs> I actually don't know. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Shit. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh man, I actually don't know where I'm going from here. What? He's back. What's happening? What am I doing? I don't understand. What's happening? Ah! We're back! Why? Ah! Shit! Oh no! beat this level before the stream is over. I just didn't know where I was going. I got confused and I died. It's really shitty of me. I'm sorry. I seriously did not know where I was going there. Full metal, welcome. Definitely making some new songs soon. I'm actually going to be putting out a new song very soon. A uh, new cover song, and then more original material will follow. Including the remastered version of With Man Comes Massacre. As suggested by you guys. Thank you. So that's just a bonus. <clears throat> I'm not really worried about that. We're getting back to the part where I freaking I fucked up. Get that chicken. Oh, there's a. How do you get up there? Have you listened to the full thing yet, Breezy? So if you go to my, uh, if you go to my Patreon and you sign up for as little as one dollar, you can hear a brand new song that I put out just today, and you can also get some other uh, cool insight on there. As far as uh, I posted a teaser before, and then some other cool things on there that I'm only sharing exclusively to the Patreon. Um, get hyped! All right, I'm actually gonna leave this one. Just to be safe. Shit, get up there. No, don't fuck me, rat. No! Why? I was like one pixel off from that jump. Okay, that's not so. It's a good thing I freaking kept that checkpoint. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna fucking be ballsy anymore. Oh! Uh, 
I have no more balls to give. Yeah. Oh my god. The guy made that jump. Thanks. I'm. I, it's been it's been one of my goals this year is to become way more active uh, with you guys and just offer just like content in general. Um, so yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it. All right, I know there's a way to kill it. Okay, so you just swipe at him normally. So power down thrust does not work against Mr. Griffin here. Fuck you, Griffin. Die! I didn't know Griffin's exploded upon contact with shovels. An interloper is in our midst. You gone from the throne room, knave. I'm no more intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The Enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a Heckin' and Mandy boy, prepare to taste justice, shovel justice. Silence! Oh, piece of ass. Ow. Do something. Ah! Oh my god, do not die now. Stop with the freaking razor confetti! What is in this confetti? I'm gonna freaking die. Did I- Oh my god, I thought I fucking died there. Holy shit. I mean, look how much health I had. One more hit and I would fucking ate it. I love to cover more Shovel Knight songs. What was, uh, what was, uh, that kid's name, uh... Shit. What was that kid's name Herbert was always obsessed with? I feel really bad that I don't know. It's been so long since I even watched Family Guy. Next. Oh, I remember this one. Full shovelry. What? Each shovel. So even though they have that little charge up, uh, and I think if you hit them while they're charged up like that, they come at you. But if you do the down thrust, it doesn't hurt you at all. Chris, yeah. That's it. Chris, my savior. I'll save you, Chris. Get your fat ass back here. Yeah, I remember that. Die! Die! Stupid skeleton. Oh, this song is super good. I love to have more Shell Knight songs. All the music in this is good. Yes. 
Oh yeah, fuck this part. <clears throat> then no skeleton exploded upon contact with water. That's pretty cool. Back over here, Mr. Frog. Oh, you fuck. You freaking platform. Platform's not gonna get me again. Yeah. Alright. It's all good. There's a freaking bug. putting bombs in these dinner plates. I needed that frog actually to get the other way. This game is beautiful. Uh, I didn't. Oh, wait, I can. There we go. Uh. Okay, oh, yes. I guess I didn't screw it up. I got a new song. Well, why are you back? Why are you back? No! Not you too.
I remember the boss of this level being pretty hard. I'm surprised I freaking made it on that platform because I just kind of went up there on a whim thinking, yeah, I'll make it. And what a whim it was. I cannot see. Oh god, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. That was stressful. Okay, here we are. This is it. This is no place for the living, mortal. You shall be summoned when it's your time. And everyone has a time, as we say, with your beloved shield knight. Lars, I won't believe such talk from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. Yeah, the Enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me a new life. So the time may take yours. Oh, crap. I remember this being pretty difficult, actually. This one you can't simply down thrust your way to victory. You gotta be a little bit more tactical. And then she has some other moves too. Like that. I mean, that's not a deal. Freaking hell. Over here. I'm probably gonna die. I'm gonna, I gotta take this one way more carefully. Oh! Shit. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Shit! <laughs> I'm glad you like the voices. Okay, I got it this time. I, f I forgot that she blacks out the screen like that. But this time I got it down. I think I'm gonna get my shit That was weird. Did that last part like glitch out? It was like she acted like she did it, but it didn't actually happen. Yeah. 
Damn it. Yes. did it for you, Grace. I'm coming for you, you big fat son of a bitch. I can't do the whistle voice. I wish. Chris, I'm coming for you. There's Chris. Alright, I think now we'll go to the town. Get some upgrades. Do you know they have multiplayer on this now? How crazy is Oh, you little bastard. We need to go to town or we're trying to shit. multiplayer now in this game. They just keep adding more and more stuff to it. It's awesome. It really is a great game. What is happening? I'm like trying to talk to this guy. Ah, uh, there we go. I totally forgot that there were uh, items or abilities. Oh, you want your hoop? You want your hoop? Come get it. Come get your hoop. Come get your hoop. Oh shit, she's getting faster. You really want to hoop. Chivalry. Look at that rat. Oh shit, the rat exploded. That's not very rat like. Huh. Oh god. These are some freaking experimental explodey rats. Whoa! What is that? What is that? Oh, 
Ah, leave. There's so much going on. Stop! Stop! Okay. Is that what's happening? Thing was like Pokemon. I don't know exactly what it won. I feel like Kamikaze Rats would be like a Dark Souls thing. Green penguin motherfucker. I would like to think I'm good at Dark Souls. I think I'm okay at Dark Souls. I would play Dark Souls on the stream. That'd be fun. Number one. I'm not big into the, any of the... I'm not big into two or three or... I never beat Bloodborne. Uh, and I haven't played Sekiro yet. Actually, probably Sekiro would be the best one to play on the stream. I haven't played yet. Well, maybe. Uh... I'd have to get a capture card. That's what I need. So I'd love to do some speedruns of uh, Resident Evil 2 also. Resident Evil 2 remake. Just for fun. See how fast I can do it. Shit! Oh man. Slid right off that platform. Do you see that? 
absurd. I really do not like this guy. Get behind me, you, well, you stupid freaking green goblin. There we go. I, what the hell? I like, I hit jump and it didn't do it. Freaking green goblin. Freaking asshole. I swear I hit jump. Fight the green goblin again. That wasn't, that was a lot better than last time. Alright, jump! And that stuff's too far out of the way to even get it. Look at that thing! What is that? It's not a Digimon. No, it looks more like a Digimon, actually. Oh my god. That was so stressful. Oh shit, Mr. Digimon's coming. No. Oh god. Slimer. I think this is boss time. I think it's boss time. Yep. And... <sighs> this is a zarn. Show yourself, play not. Your trickery do not stop me. Yeah, trickery. I'm trying to <laughs> fucking try to do Smeagol. The fruits of my research promote me a trick, precious. Let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise it will be a nice and precious. The worst Smeagol impression. No, oh, stop. Oh, I think you have to like beat him within a certain time before the floor goes. Before he destroys all the floor. I think that was. I'm gonna die. Okay, so there is a floor. So I'm wrong. Shit. Well, we're right there. That's not so bad. Stop! Golly! 
Oh, oh we're like evenly matched now. I have to win. Now we're oh damn it. Stop it! I'm dead. Oh god, stop, stop, stop! I'm dead. Super dead. Oh! Damn! I didn't even mean to freaking bounce off that. Yes! Height. That was a tough one. All right, that's all the time I got time for today, guys. But before I go, we're gonna do the giveaway. I'm giving away a CD, sticker, and poster. Um, so I'm gonna get all the names together real fast. You left your name in the chat. That's all you got to do to be entered to win. All right, let's do this. Picking the name now, the winner is Ricados. Ricados, you're the winner of the giveaway. Congratulations, you won yourself a CD, sticker, and poster. Um, <clears throat> get If you're still in the chat, get with me on Facebook. Uh, we'll get your shipping info and get that mailed out ASAP. Thanks so much for joining, guys. Make sure to do more streams. There's going to be a giveaway every stream, so make sure to hit up the next one. <clears throat> I try to stream every week. Um, I don't have an exact like timeline uh, as of yet. Uh, it just kind of depends on the wife's schedule, but from, uh, you can expect it Usually going to be like every weekend, either Friday or Saturday, I would say. I usually stream for about two hours or so. But um, Awesome. So thank you guys so much for joining. Hope to see you next time. Take it easy. Have a great weekend. Stay dry. See you.